Okay, by now we're hoping you've got a few summer nights around a campfire, even around a fire pit mm -hmm. in your own backyard, right, Ben? That's right, but if you're getting a bit tired of serving up the usual s'mores and marshmallows, then we've got some ideas on how to help you out. Let's crank this up. Let's elevate this. Andrea Bucket's here. Good to see you. Good to see you. And you certainly have cranked this up. Like, I'm looking at everything yes. and wanting to eat everything. That's the way you do it. You know, I love a marshmallow on a stick. I yes. love a hot dog on a stick. They're classic. But this is sort of elevated campfire treats after you put the kids to bed. Right. Right, this for the, the adults. <laughs> it's like cocktail hour. Exactly. All right, so let's start with this one right here. Okay, so this is a favorite. This is a campfire fondue. Okay. So what you're doing is you're taking a wheel of brie or camembert, something that gets really melty and ooey gooey, putting it in a campfire skillet, and then just tucking it on the edge of the fire. So you need a grate for this. Mm -hmm. And you do have to kind of watch your heat, right? Because you don't have an even heat yes. on the fire. Yeah. So you don't really want it on a hot, hot flame. Just tuck it to the edge, you know, and, and let it melt away. And then serve it with some pretzels or a great baguette, and you have an awesome treat. And what did you put on top? So we just put a little bit of fresh thyme, drizzle it with honey, and some walnuts. So, Very nice. Yeah, you can do this ahead of time and put it in a little, little uh, food storage bag and, and, and take it. Yeah, that's the other thing. Like, to get it to the yeah. campsite right. is, is also part of the equation. Exactly. But this is just as easy as opening up a bag of uh, chips. You just open up the brie, put it in the pan, and off you go. And, and how long would that take to cook? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. So you could actually probably start it right while you're still feeding the kids. It, exactly. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. that's super delicious. Okay. Um, next, okay, everyone loves a yes. cheesy Mexican corn dip. This is yeah. killer. Um, and, of course, corn is coming into season, so we love that. Um, this is something you can also mix everything ahead of time, put it into a Ziploc bag, you know, lay it flat in the fridge or in your cooler, and when you're ready to go, again, you just dump it right out into your skillet. So what's in this? So this is a Monterey Jack cheese, fresh lime juice. We've got a little bit of chili peppers in there, corn, and of course, some yeah. sour cream. Be the world. Beyond, yeah. <laughs> I'm give that a whirl. I yeah. love me like some Like a corn. hay, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is so good. So that's great with, a, you know, a can of beer or whatever cocktail oh, yeah. you're having by the fire. I love that. Delicious. Yeah, and that's a good idea too. You can use the Ziploc and then, and then just put it in. Yeah, the, uh, do it ahead of time, especially if you're camping and you don't have a lot of prep time. I'm I'm all for having fun and doing interesting things on the campfire, but. I would never have thought to make gnocchi. No. <laughs> so again, this is open up the package and dump it in. This is a skillet gnocchi um, and then just a package of cherry tomatoes. So you put your pan on the fire, you put a little bit of oil in there, dump your gnocchi in, and then you wait for them to brown. Yeah. Toss in your cherry tomatoes, a little bit of fresh herbs if you have them. Mm -hmm. If you don't, that's fine too. Um, and then salt and pepper. So we're gonna we're gonna try this. So wait, yeah. you don't you don't need any sort of like just the oil. You don't need to have water in there. You don't need because it's already. Nope. This is actually a skillet gnocchi. It's okay. designed. Pass that okay. to you, Ben. All right, Ben. Give this a whirl here. So, yeah, so it's really delicious. It's nice and cheesy inside. These are stuffed with cheese. Oh, so yeah. Perfect. Yeah? 100%. Yeah. A little bit of salt and pepper. Love that. Okay, so mm -hmm. next, I think, is a fan favorite. And I'm going to pass this over to you, Lindsay. Sorry, yeah, I'll take that. I'm just eating my... Oh, she's busy oh, eating. You, you of course. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So these are... Um, this is sort of like build your own. And what it is, is it's stuffed fruit. So what we have is, this is a banana boat, classic banana boat. You, you know, cut it open, you put some chocolate chips on there. Really? And what you can do, I don't know if you can see this Wait, that's here. a banana? Yeah, that's a banana with chocolate chips. Okay, can you guys see that? That's really cool. So this is a little thing you can take to the campfire with all the toppings. This, Ben, might be for you. This is a peach that's stuffed with blue that. cheese. No, I'm going banana. Oh, you are? Banana? banana? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, what's this on the side here? That's caramel sauce. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. I love this idea because this is so simple. That so you now, just split it down the middle? Split it down the you middle, try stuff this? it with uh, yeah, chocolate chips. You could use uh, coconut, yeah. uh, drizzle it with a little bit of honey afterwards or maple syrup, and that is a be, delicious campfire The kids would love this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Yeah. Mm, that's great. That's a sweet version. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's so fantastic. The, you want to see this one? This is a savory version. This oh, is that's a peach neat. cut in half, Stilton cheese or gorgonzola, and a little bit of nuts drizzled with honey. Andrew Bucket, thank you so much.